Hey guys, I got a new RC now. It's the uh, Remo Hobby uh, one tenth. Oh, it's I'm not sure the name of it, but it's sort of like uh, a lot like the axial version. It's like the axial honcho. It's like a serious like copy of it. It's very very well built. Um, the only thing that I've done to it, I literally just unboxed it 30 minutes ago. And I just changed the tires. I did not like the tires. I do like the bead locks that came with it. They are nice. I like the way they look. They are plastic though, but they're they're good. They're not bad. And I did notice the hexes are steel. And that's nice. But um, I put these crawler tires on here from Injora. They are the um, the mud terrain MTs. They got that nice sipe tread for crawling and stuff. I figured that'd be a great tire for it. So we're going to test it out. And I wanted to leave it uh, kind of stock looking. I still have the, here's the stock remote that it came with. Very large monstrosity. But it feels good in the hands. And it has all the trims you need. You, know, you got your steering trim, your throttle trim even. Uh, even it's got a speed switch there. So it's got a button here and it has a picture of lights. I'm, I'm not sure if that is... Like I can hook lights up to it and it's, it's a switch for that. I'm not sure yet. It doesn't have any lights on the RC itself. Not yet at least. And not until I put some on there. And I did take a zipper tie to make a thumbstick so I can one hand steer it. Just to show you guys. It can be done with zipper ties. You just got to get a heavy duty one. Uh, sometimes I take popsicle sticks and I cut them the right thickness. And I'll literally just tape them on there to give it the strength to, to turn a steering sometimes. That's just whenever I feel like, you know, doing kind of ghettoing it up. <laughs> but it, it does work. This is only able to run on 2S. I, I'm not sure if it's capable 3S. It says 2S only. Um, it is an ESC combo with the receiver built in. So if I'm going to get rid of the um, ESC, that means I have to get rid of this remote, which I have no problems doing that. Think about, uh, I got an extra 1080 I might throw on here. And uh, I'm going to get one of the newer Dumbo remotes, I believe. Uh, they're, like, really small, and I like how they fit in the hands. It is really dark down here. Uh, it just rained really, really hard. But I wanted to test this RC out. This is my first run of it. So, you, you know, the, this is my honest first run. First time I've seen it out. And you guys are going to experience it with me. I got it running on a 5200 uh, MAH. 2s z brand lipo it's got a adc discharge which is more than enough for this thing um i had to um to cut and solder a dean's plug on it so i can get my so i can get my lipos to work on it and i had a switch for lipo and nickel it came with nickel metal hydride and uh it came with a the old standard uh to me a plug and right now I got four or five of those to me, uh, uh, lipos, I, uh, not lipos, nickel metal hydride packs, two S's I never use. Wish I had new something to do with them. <laughs> so far, this thing has impressed me just driving it over here. Wow. It's got a lot of slow speed control. Very smooth operating. Sounds nice too. Nice and clean running. Very quiet. Now let's go ahead and I'll just make this a talk free run the rest of the way so you guys can kind of hear the RC and we'll just see how, what it's capable of together. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And let's get to rolling, guys.
All right, guys, it's very nice, very capable rig. Um, the reason I got this, it was on Amazon for $199. Well, they had a $15 off coupon. They still have it right now on Amazon. And I brought it down to $184. And uh, I have yet to find a full tent scale um, hobby grade rig that is for $184 that low. Anything that was any good quality. And so far, this thing has is, is really uh, surprised me. It's got uh, oil-filled shocks. Uh, they seem to work okay. They're, they're not... Uh, the springs are holding up pretty good. It, it articulated very nice. Uh, it's not bouncy at all. Um, yeah, and they seem to be... They do their, their job. They're nice and smooth. Um, they're not too springy. Um, and it, it seemed to articulate really well. Um, now the only thing I didn't like about it was the tires. They were very plasticky. They were soft, um, and I believe they would do just fine down here. But um, I like my tires just a certain way, and um, so I put these in drawers on here, and they're a much better tire. And they don't really cost that much. I think you can get a set of these for around twenty-five dollars for their whole set, maybe thirty. Um, and I just, I just love these Endura tires. I just love them. And they look really good. I, I like the fact that this thing came with bead locks. Uh, it's very nice. You can just, if you don't have a lot to work with and you don't want, you know, you want to change up the tires, you can. You got the bead lock rims right here on this thing. And, you know, for a very, uh, for an upcomer, somebody that doesn't, that's never RC'd before, this is perfect for a starter RC. There's so many things you can do to it. Uh, it runs great out the box. And um, the only thing, like I said, the only thing I did is I just upgraded to a LiPo and change the tires around. I haven't even tried crawling with it or driving it on the original tires. I felt them and said, nah, I just, I'm definitely gonna just put my Endurance on here. I had them, they're brand new, and I uh, wanted to put them on something. So this fit the bill. Uh, let me know you guys' thoughts on this thing. Like I said, it's $184. Uh, it's got a 550, a very nice 550 uh, 20 turn uh, motor on it. Let's look under the hood here. Yes, a really nice 20 turn 550 and it's vented and which is very good so it's vented it's got a fan built in inside of it and then uh, the ESC is not bad um, it's an ESC it is a combo I don't like no I don't prefer combos but if you know if this was my first RC I wouldn't complain at all um, but the, the ESC itself does say I can get it to clear up I don't it doesn't say how many amps it is it just says 2s lipo or 6s nickel metal hydride so you know and, you, and it runs great uh, the speed on 2s is fine the way it's geared there's not a problem I don't have a problem at all with that of course I'm gonna I'm surely I'm gonna upgrade to a 1080 ESC and I know I'm gonna throw a 3s on here eventually um, and I already have uh, steel gears I got a whole steel transmission set that's brand new that I can throw on this thing. I just had it kind of, I've had it for a year or so, the transmission. Eh, I got some upgrades for it if I want to install them. But for a while, I'm going to drive it just the way it is and just see how long this lasts. But yeah, like, like I said, let me know your thoughts on this. And if you like it, give me a thumb, thumbs up. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for everything.